What's cracking, Hot House members? It's your baby's mama's favorite cousin, Cousin t Taw, coming at you with a response, a uh, quick response to a question that was posed by uh, a Patreon member. Remember, if you are at least an apprentice level, meaning a $5 level Patreon member, you can ask uh, at least one question. Otherwise, just hit that donation uh, to the Tetal Tabernacle, and I will be happy to answer your uh, questions as they pertain to either the hothouse or the YouTube side. So let's get into this real quick. Uh, the question was, and it's based on the system that uh, the hot house philosophy has regarding uh, different body types as far as men are concerned. So this regards men's sexual reproductive health. All right. The question was about um, hitting the bottom of a woman. And it's more specifically asking, do you have to hit the bottom of a woman in order to uh, pleasure her? And basically what the uh, Patreon member was asking was that, do you need to have enough length to uh, reach the cervix, which is technically the bottom of a woman's vagina? It's a great question. And I want to first start by answering that um, on a topical level. Okay. The quick answer is no. Contrary to popular belief, you do not have to be hung like King Kong in order to pleasure a woman. Now, there are different levels of pleasure, especially when we're talking about uh, female sexuality. All right. So hitting the bottom, a.k.a. Uh, hitting her cervix, stimulates her mentally. Now, let's be clear. That this is a physical activity that's happening. You're physically inside of her. She's physically taking you in. And for those who are uh, at the pit bull level or the stallion level, you have the opportunity to quote unquote hit the bottom of a woman, meaning uh, your pipe actually touching her cervix. Okay, that's what the hitting the bottom means. Now, primarily that is a mental stimulation because she is thinking, oh my gosh, I'm dealing with somebody who's big enough uh, to touch uh, the bottom of the vagina. However, in terms of pleasure and actually being able to get her off, here's what you need to know. And uh, for the visual aid, I'm going to use uh, Ride or Die Reader here. Uh, this is a character that the higher level uh, Patreon members are familiar with. Both the journeyman and the technician uh, uh, Patreon members are familiar with Ride or Die Reader. This is the visual aid that I like to use at those levels when we really get into the deeper um, uh, physicality of reproductive uh, health. So concentrating the majority of your girth, which is for most men uh, near the head, between the area of the head and the beginning of the shaft on the space of the G spot, which is typically uh, two and a half to three inches inside of the vaginal canal opening. So if you are to um, take a point of reference and you uh, have located the clitoris, the top, the clit, the bud, the bean, okay? You are going to travel uh, two and a half to three inches inside from that point of reference. And that is the space typically for most women of where the G spot is. That's a collection of nerves that stimulate a woman uh, to the point of orgasm. If you are concentrating on that area correctly, if you got your rhythm going, but if you um, are focusing primarily on that area with the girth of your pipe, that is what's going to um, stimulate her to the point of orgasm. So it doesn't matter uh, whether or not you have uh, a stallion pole or a fox. All right. A man with a three inch pole, if he uh, knows what to do with it in this space, has the opportunity to get a woman off. However, this comes with a warning and gentlemen pay very close attention to what I say next. Okay. <laughs> 